what's up you guys so today's video is going to be the highly requested video that i got i posted this tutorial on my instagram and it got a lot a lot of attention so let's just get straight into it um i start off by sectioning off basically the leave out which is only the front perimeter of my hair and i'm not taking out like a certain amount but just enough that i can cover up the tracks and it still be versatile for the hair that i'm going to be using i am using two bundles i believe 20 inch of my Burmese curly hair this is my raw hair collection it is available on my website here I am just hot combing my weave out because it's real puffy um, this is not necessary but I'm just doing this now before I go ahead and put my two braids to separate it So the braid down for this is pretty easy. Um, quick weaves, you don't necessarily have to know how to braid because you're just gluing on top of your cap. So I'm just putting two braids straight down on the side just to separate what's gonna be my leave out from the rest of the braid down. So after I do these two braids in the front, all of the rest of my braids are gonna go straight back and they're not gonna be super small, but just enough to get my hair flat. I did get a lot of questions from people asking if any glue gets on your hair. All of my quick weaves, I like to use a glueless method and that's just like extra protectant. So I put on two black caps and um, I usually go on top of it with a got to be spray or spritz or some type of hairspray just as like a first layer. And that's so that it does not touch and so then I'm taking the liquid cap, which comes in a little black bottle that a lot of people see me put it on. And I literally just put that all over my cap, like all over. Um, I didn't have a brush, so I'm using a popsicle stick. The best tip to prevent glue from getting on your hair is to make sure that you apply that evenly all over your cap. So I already started out gluing tracks in. I didn't really record the middle of the process, but like any other quick weave, you would cut and make sure it fits from ear to ear. But in this case, you want to make sure that it turns in like a U shape. And you do that all the way until you get to the top. This is the part that makes it like exclusive for a flip over. Once you get, I would say about like an inch space at the top, instead of continuing to lay those, you want to lay a few straight across just to create like a rectangle shape. Once you have a rectangle shape at the top, which y'all see here, you wanna start laying them to the side. And so there'll probably be like really, really small wefts, but you're gonna cut them to the shape of that rectangle and lay them to the side until it fills that whole spot. So as y'all can see, I'm blow drying it, but I pretty much did that all the way up until I filled them and then placed that very last track straight backwards. So after that last track is laid and everything is already done, I'm just taking down my braids and I'm going to go back in and hot comb my leave out, straighten out my leave out and do everything else. She not a lesbian for peace, she turned lesbian, push P, push P. Y'all don't judge me on the way I do my edges, but I lost a lot of my edges due to postpartum. So I'm taking out a little more baby hair than usual and I'm just curling them so I can give them um, a little bit of shape. And once I curl them, I lay my baby hairs with hairspray so they're like light. And y'all just gonna see me curl my baby hairs up, make it look like something. Yeah. 
Bunch of pink, uh, 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 okay, bought a peak, not a pill of Porsche. Push P. Three peas, popcorn, Porsche. Push P. I just f- cup of water. Push P. Push P, red bandana cards. Hey, push P. I'm a P, you I your one of my favorite things about this hair is that it matches my natural texture so well you can wear it just like this um or apply a little bit of products so i'm just putting in a little mousse and then i'm gonna wet the hair to wear it wet and um you could also just wand curl your leave out and a little bit of the hair to make it blend well but i think the way this look turned out so pretty um i did go in just to like create layers and stuff like that to really really shape the hair and make it blend but that is pretty much all i did for this install i hope you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more hair tutorials on my page